<laughs> Wait, are we doing new recordings or not? No, no, we're good. Let's go. All right. Okay. We'll leave everybody in. Hey, everybody. Um, it's another episode of Stegman is Amazing Friends. Another live show, actually. Um, we uh, we got some of you folks in the comments section. So happy to have you guys watching. Uh, we did one of these last week. It was awesome. And uh, and this week, we've got our, our boy Donnie Cates is with us tonight. Hey, Donnie. Hey, what's up, guys? Nice to uh, be here. I like your sunglasses. Thank you. Thank you. It's very bright. It's, it is a bizarrely uh, sunny and bright day here in Austin, Texas, which is why I wanted to do it outside. Absolutely. It's been pouring rain and horrible for the past month and feels nice out here, so I thought it'd be a nice change of pace. Absolutely. And it's uh, it's Ryan Stegman's podcast. Hey, Ryan. Hi. Uh, what are we doing today? <laughs> Um, just, we're gonna, uh, well, that's a, we're, so, oh, we're trying something, well, 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 yeah, well, we're, we're, we're trying okay. something, we're trying something new, right, Ryan? Absolutely. So what we're, we're, we're doing is, um, we are going to create a new, uh, comic book universe and we're not, so we're not actually making this book, at least not right now. If people love it, that, that might happen. Um, but what we're going to do is show you how the creative process works um, by, we have a loose idea, um, it, t tentatively titled Bad Kids that, um, I came up with and Donnie's already started to embellish on, and, uh, we are going to... I just want to change kid, it's just kids with a Z. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Yes. You know, to make it, like, real, yeah. like, the, like, you know, Written, like, 90, like, real, like, like, yeah, 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 exactly. Um, and... So we have a loose idea, which I'll have Donnie explain to you in a minute. And then today, so I've got my paper right here. If you see, I, I'm, I'm in two places at once right now. Uh, we'll switch the camera to being more about the, what I'm drawing in a little bit. Um, but we are going to create the villain for our series uh, right, live right now. So the, we're going to try to go through several episodes and create a bunch of different characters and then maybe come up with storylines and I'll be drawing and sketching throughout the entire thing. So... Um, oh my god, that sounds that sounds like so much fun, and I am very excited for all of us to do it, and for all of you guys to experience it. Hey, people say Kids with a Z is edgy, and I agree. Um, do you guys, maybe, uh, Donnie, uh, do you want to maybe give us the laydown of this universe? You guys were talking about it a little bit on Twitter, um, but for some of the folks that didn't see that, please tell us what the universe of Bad Kids is all about. Yeah, see, uh, yeah. Are you, are you there? You're kind of cutting out. Sorry, pal. Yeah, we're here. We're good. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Yep. Everybody give me a big thumbs up if everybody can hear me or see me or no. <laughs> this, is, this is the worst thing that's ever happened. This is the best thing that's ever happened. Uh, Uh, Ryan, hello. Do you want to? Do you want to bring us through it, Don? You may be having some technical difficulties. I, I'm. I, I'm nothing is bad. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just. I'm. 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 I'm uh, yeah. Um. Uh. Okay. So yeah. So if um if my visual cuts out, I don't know. Uh, if you guys can't hear me, Ryan, text me. Tell me. So a super duper lo lo loose ID that's gonna kind of. Uh, create um, uh, uh, it's going to create an opportunity for us to create a lot of new characters so within this superhero universe before our book even begins or even maybe this is the what you would call the the the, the inciting incident or the or the or the or the first you know couple pages or first issue um, we have a super team uh, an Avengers a Justice League a you know kind of a thing they get they derive their powers from some sort of a totem uh some sort of a um you know uh an object that they all get their powers from and they all you know either have to be worthy of it or are chosen by it whatever right um uh the inciting incident for our story and how we're going to start creating our characters is that something happens in that first issue and we'll figure it out later on um where um 
a big battle happens with our big bad guy who wants this totem. Um, he wants all of the power, right? And uh, the battle goes really bad because he starts to get a lot of full control of it. And um, he kills most of our team, except for our strongest, our Superman, our, our big hero. Mm -hmm. And they end up crashing uh, in or near a school. Um, and the superhero uh, happens to land in a detention class uh, full of all the bad kids. Um, and, the, and, the, and these are not your, um, your CW bad kids. These are the kids who were <laughs> caught. These are the kids that were caught selling meth and getting into fist fights and, <laughs> and, and like the real deal fucking like asshole, like not cool kids. You know, there's like, like, like maybe there's one who was in there for cheating on their homework or whatever, or, you know, some like that. But for the most part, that's good. That's great. Good to keep that, we, we do want to have one nerd in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not the Breakfast Club where there's just like one, like you know, Bender who's like the cool one. Like, no, most of them, like one of them is like a you know a super a, a guy who was on the football team who got caught doing a bunch of fucking steroids and selling them. Like, you know, it's like like they're not they're not great kids, you right. know. Anyway, this fucking superhero crashed, crashed in there with this totem and it just explodes in there, right? And all the pieces. Uh, are embedded in these bad kids um, and let's just say that there were six pieces of them and there were five kids in that room and the sixth piece um, that had a little bit of of, uh, of that of that evil of that of a of our bad guy of our you know our dark side our Thanos or whatever that sixth piece that had a little bit of him in it we don't we don't know where that part went Right. And so as the series goes on, what you're going to be dealing with is kids developing pieces of powers. And, you know, it, they're not going to be a one to one to whatever this Justice League or whatever it is, this item, this this thing. Now that it's shattered, it's a little un unreliable. So, you know, in one issue, they might have one power and the other one, they might have a different power. They're changing. It's 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 kind of mutating as it goes along. Right. But the question is, where did that six piece go? And um, we know where it went. Um, and um, um, it's also a big piece of the puzzle is is them trying to keep, you know, very Peter Parker like very, very, um, you know, we can't let like we can't let the people around us know about this because there's that six piece that's out there. And we don't know. I mean, it could be the kid down the block. It, it could be my. It could be my mom. So, like, we don't know who to trust. So, spoiler alert. Just so we can continue along here. Or, um, um, or Ryan, do we not want to say who it is? And We're just have design... multiple of these episodes, so we could definitely save that for one of the future installments, if you'd like. Yeah, let's. let's so uh... do you. Do you have... You, do, do you want to because they change forms, right? So do you want to just design what 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 this person would look like um, as in their in their you know super villainy role? Right. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Uh, so let's talk about what what we think he would look like, he or she. Well, he, but here's the problem, though, is that to do that, a lot. A lot of these things are going to be based on who they are as a person. We can tell them who it is. It's fine. We'll just say it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're not, we're not crafting. Yeah, we're going to craft. We're going to show how it yes, starts from the me? beginning. Yes, we can hear you. Yes, we hear you. So, but, but let's just say who it is. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I agree. Because the, the whole point of this entire thing is to show you guys how a book is made from the from the ground up right. like these are the these are the conversations that you're that you're not seeing that we do at marvel at the summits and stuff you know so you're, you're gonna see you know how how everything is made so yeah let's so fuck it so uh ryan uh you want to tell us where that six piece went the principal of course ah uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. So, the principal, of course, whom 
Ooh, I, I, I just to get us started, you know, I don't, I want to, I always like to steer clear from, um, you know, obviously shit that's done, been done before and everything like that. And so, um, I, I think this guy should be a great fucking guy. I think the principal <laughs> in his, his human form, I mean, he's not, he's not the breakfast club like you mess with the bull, you get the horns kind of guy, you know? Mm-hmm. I think, uh, I'm imagining him as a um, as an Ed Norton kind of you know thin framed you know shockingly ripped underneath his clothes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Works out like a madman because his <laughs> wife left him a long a long time ago, and does have like a, like a like a secret rage inside of him. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe that's even maybe that is even something that we can play with that like we that, like, have. Uh, we have some folks that are already doing some fan casting in the comments here that desperately want oh, to sure. Godfrey to be uh, uh, okay. the, the principal, that sort of type. Maybe a sort of soft-spoken hard, Gilbert Godfrey. Hard. To, okay, soft-spoken Gilbert Godfrey is. Uh, first of all, you're 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 not thinking of the right guy. Um, uh, and and I would imagine hard to do a shredded Gilbert Godfrey. I get what you're saying. Um, Maybe maybe you're thinking of um, of the guy from um, Boardwalk Empire. What's that guy's name? Steve um, Buscemi. Mm-hmm. Steve Buscemi. Steve, <laughs> Steve Buscemi might be a nice a nice way to go. You know that like I do like the idea that he he does love this ki- he does love these kids and like love loves his job and does his best at it. Um, maybe it's a school that's not doing so well and he's just fighting like hell with the superintendent and with everybody. I try and get funding and stuff like that, and so you know he is a uh, if if it, if anyone is kind of our Peter Parker kind of character, it's him. You know he's he's the guy who's trying to do the right thing, and I think at night, yeah, he fucking goes and works out like a demon because his wife left him a long time ago, and he's you know he's on he's on all the dating apps, and he's just kind of a sad sap, but we root for him, you know, and and so. Um, and so I think that there's a lot to that where, like, maybe that there's a lot to that, like, story-wise in, in these, these, are, these are kids, all of our bad kids know that, like, well, like, A, it couldn't be him. And also maybe that's, that's, that's the fall of all of this is because they trust him so much because he is such a lovable guy. One of them does reveal to them reveal to to the to, to the principal that they have powers and that and that's when the shit goes down because whatever the principal knows the thing inside knows you know um one thing donnie i guess that i don't know how you're going to be able to see what i'm drawing if you're not on the youtube because I, okay. i'm drawing this okay. right now he can pull it up on youtube we're we're on this jp is in the house just wanted to let you go oh, hey jp donnie give jp a shout out Mm-hmm. I think what I'll do is I'll just pull it up on my on my iPhone and just have it here at at, at, at the side, so that I I can I can see what you're drawing. Okay. Yep. Cool. Quick that, question. I don't I don't want to I don't want to derail at all. Are do you guys have all of the bad kids worked out? Do you know their characters yet? No, not at all. No. Okay. Because no. I was gonna ask I was gonna ask if you're interested in potentially a kid that isn't hit with shrapnel from the totem. Sure. But. That's fun. Maybe you know. I was actually thinking that a group of twins, like 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 two boys that both play football uh-huh. or something like that, one uh-huh. gets hit, nothing. Like right, right, that, cool. Maybe that's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we could do something like that. Um, uh, so yeah, that's an interesting idea. Um, but yeah, I think what we'll what we'll probably end up doing on that kind of thing is um, is is. Um, Sorry, I'm just pulling this up and getting it into a sense that I can see. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, Ryan, I can, I can kind of see what you're doing here. That's great. Um, this is just his human yeah. form. We'll, we'll go into what he, what he would look like as a villain. We need to kind of dis- dis- decide what his powers would be, uh, etc. Can you hear me, Donnie? Yeah, he's just going to quench himself real quick. Uh, yeah, 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 I can. And I think that that'll be the fun of it, uh, guys, is that is that going from here is is developing every episode, developing those kids 
and developing right. human form and there's and there and then you know from there once we have our core cast of characters then we can start talking about issue breakdowns or anything like that um while while ryan is is drawing though i wanted to get into uh this side of things which we i don't think that we have addressed yet um in the past um uh one of you guys' microphones is making a lot of background noise. It might be Ryan drawing. Is that possibly it? Oh, well. Okay. Maybe it is. Maybe, hey, Ryan, mute your mic for a second. That sounds better to me. Yeah. Or did you do it? Is there everyone else who's I'll turn down doing robot beeps? Oh, wait, you might just be hearing... I don't know. Welcome to the live show, everybody. I hope everyone's doing great tonight. We'll, we'll finish it out as we go along. Um, can people still see me? Yes. Yeah. For those that don't want all these extra little nuggets of content, you can just get the edited version <laughs> that comes out on the audio feed. But if you're loving this, stick around. Absolutely. Yeah, right. So, one of the things I did want to bring up, though, is that in the past, when we did, like, Blood Psycho and all this stuff on the podcast, we always said, and when we did it, you know, we did the, the our live show, um, that these were going to be... Um, um, completely uh, like like um, uh, license free characters like Trade like comments. we don't own these you, yeah you, you guys go and play and make your own fun comics don't okay. care so with starting with this episode uh, that is now not true and so uh, because yeah. who knows um, someday we might want to make something uh, from this so um, all of the all of the all the things created uh, from this episode and from the episodes going forward, and I'll read this disclaimer on all of these. They are um, copyright and created by uh, the Stegman and his amazing friends show. Um, uh, created by uh, uh, created just by us. So um, just want to make that very cl uh, crystal clear. Um, sorry, guys, but uh, we think we could make maybe kind of make something cool with this someday and uh, don't want a bunch of people running around with copycat versions of it that suck because they're not made by Ryan and I. <laughs> uh, <amen. laughs> um, so where are you at, Ryan? What are you thinking? Um, I would like to go into what his powers would be, what the principal's powers would be uh, so that we can, I can move into designing what he would look like as a, uh, as of as the villain yeah sure i mean he's uh i mean obviously principles are very you know by by their very nature you know controlling uh, uh overseeing you know um um they fuck well i don't know all the principles ever did for me was were fucking putting me in that de in detention mm -hmm. so well oh well hey maybe maybe that's a thing maybe Maybe part of his of his of his of our bad guy's powers are that he can banish you to realms. Mm -hmm. He can he can banish you to some sort of a metaphor for a for a uh, you know instead of uh, a detention, it's a a, de a detention dimension. <laughs> That's the worst thing mm. I've said in my life. But you know you know so maybe he has these um, like you know like you know how, like Dark Side has these um, these. Uh, what are they? What, what are they even called? His um, his eye his eye beams that like track you. Mm -hmm. The hell are those things called? Tracker eye beams. Oh. Tracker eye beams. <laughs> Trademark <laughs> DC Comics. Omega, Omega beams. Omega rays. Maybe, maybe maybe he has some way of like hand beam wise or anything. Like you can't run from him. Like unless. Like maybe our five kids can, mm -hmm. but he's able to send people to other like a hell dimension via, you know, uh, 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 something like that, which is you know uh, very comparable to what a principal can do. He can send you to to secondary school. He can put you in detention. He can 
you know, uh, take things away from you, kick, kick, kick you out of class. Maybe, you know? maybe he, so when, he, he, when he fights you, or if you're in a fight with him, he takes you to another realm, and that's where he, he, he fights you. You know what I mean? So he's... He, yeah, it's on yeah, his turf. yeah, we could do that. For, yeah, 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 no, exactly. But I do think, I think that when he wants to fight you, meaning, like, if he's dealing with the five kids, he would take them there. But if if you're just some fucking cop who's in his way, you're 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 just gonna get shunted off to this oh, fucking sure. world. And that's where you're gonna live and die. Like he's not gonna take every battle there. And uh, what, what does that look like? You know what, what does that look like on Earth? Does that person get vaporized? Are they, you know, and then they they reappear in this nether world? Uh, yeah, I would want it to be big and visual and big, like, you know, coming out of like, um, like, um, you know, maybe like, um, uh, you know, I'm always a sucker for eyes and mouth shit, you know? Um, so like <laughs> maybe his, his like eyes and mouth glow and they hit you and you glow and you find yourself in that place okay. because, you know, again, go, going going back to the to the correlations of a principle, that's how a principle sends you to detention: eyes, mouth, right? Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. so you know, maybe maybe he has a cool kind of a like a this a, maybe we can play with his jawline, or we can play with some mechanic around his mouth um, that can kind of open, like turn his mouth into this like portal kind of a thing, or maybe. He has no mouth for the majority of it, but then when when he wants to activate make this power, this kind of void opens up, you know, there that glows, his eyes glow, and you turn to, you know, force or whatever the fuck, and then you reappear there. And that dimension is just pure fucking hell. I mean, that's just like that's that's that is hellraiser shit. Right. You know, like that's where he's from. Uh, that's where he's from, and that's probably why he wants the fucking the the totem, so that he can unleash that upon everything, you know, mm -hmm. or or whatever. So Ryan, we're getting feedback from Tippy Toes Nuts that says so far for the principal is looking like Moloch from Watchmen. I, I see that a little bit. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Somebody else said that he's giving off Strickland I... vibes from Back to the Future, except Strickland that's, that's didn't also have hair. True. This guy's mm -hmm. a little something I, up there. I imagine I imagined him just from the live feed I'm getting here. Um, mm -hmm. I, I I did imagine him a little bit uh, slighter build, um, like mm. um, um, with a um, um, you know. But, but but this is fine. This is this is fine. I do think. I, uh, um, who did someone say Strickland from? I don't want him to look. Like, I, I want him to look like, like a genuinely nice guy, okay. you know, like, so like, so like, you know, like, I, I want him to look like, and like, there's a very, there, there's a, so like, by that, I mean, like, uh, that's why I brought up Ed Norton, right? Because Ed Norton is thin of frame, but you can tell that he, he, like, chances are that, that dude's probably shredded under there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? um, um, but also... Super, like super approachable, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah. um, but I, I really like this idea that he's like he looks super nice and super kind and uh, sort of regular dude looking sort of fella. But then is also super ripped uh, underneath, especially when he gets into his powers and such. Somebody in the comments earlier actually suggested Martin Freeman, and I kind of I oh, really like that because he's yeah. kind of got that sort of I like like, that. like a lot vibe. actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could. You could definitely see Martin Freeman going home in his garage, just screaming, looking at a picture of his, of, <laughs> at his, of his ex-wife, mm -hmm. and just being like, "Someday, someday," <laughs> some, you know, like, and, and then like, smash cut to him at the high school, being like, "Hey, kids, hey, hey, Mary, great job on soccer practice the other day. Look, looking great out there, you know." Yeah, yeah Martin. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think I think you know because I think that how you're building him right now. Um, he looks. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I, I, I don't want to take you too far off of it. Obviously, we'll, we'll develop it more as we go. You know, there's a difference between a everyone likes this guy um, salesman. You know, mm -hmm. um, uh, a car salesman kind of a guy, 
but I, but I, but you also do want him to be kind of a guy that like, you know, it'd be kind of fun if like in the book, like all the girls, like all the guys kind of feel sorry for him and all the girls kind of secretly have a crush on him mm-hmm. because nice. he's like this, like, you know, like all the guys are like this fucking nerd and the girls are like, I don't know. I think he's kind of cute. Like he could be, <laughs> yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. I think this is probably a little closer. This is smile, the smiler one, and then I would have to very disarming. Yeah, you know, a skinnier. Move, move your hand. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I definitely think a skinnier build. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm gonna need you to move your hand. Here, can, can you can you focus more on the smiling version? Yes. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. De- definitely. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think that's exactly who 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 he who he is. You know. Um, and in the build, yeah, I think he's a little bit too, a little bit too muscular. I think, I, I think the Martin Freeman, the Ed Nortons is right in the range of where we want to be, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? I like the idea that he like, kind of looks like that and then he taps into his powers and he's suddenly like this sort of, uh, yeah, yeah, beast. yeah. And like, and like, and like he, he, he's the kind of guy that like, like a school fight could break out, you know, and, and like, you know. Maybe it's even how we show how our like our one of one of our bad kids is 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 getting the you know that that detention in the beginning is that like a fight breaks out and everyone trying to break it out and then here comes old sweet you know Ed Norton like just like this like regular looking dude and comes in and just like pushes them both apart <laughs> and everyone's like God damn like 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 <laughs> Prince like. You know, principal. Yeah. You know what? Principal Martin fucking works out, dude. God damn. You know. <laughs> mm-hmm. So okay, I'm gonna think about so so when he when he's a uh, in his villain form, right? He has he has a super villain costume, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think it completely changed. I think it completely changed. And I think I think you know I, I you know we don't want to be too derivative obviously I do think that like you know if, if if he comes from this hell dimension and um so I think you know like that's a good place to start I do think uh the opposite the polar opposite of him having the hulk to his banner you know very very big and I do I do quite like the idea of uh you know, um, like I think I, I think you, I think I think I think when he's hulked out, mm-hmm. or when he's like on when he's monstered out, I think you're gonna want to be able to see, see that shark. You know, like the, and yeah, maybe mm-hmm. and maybe maybe the symbol on their chest, on his chest, and on everyone else's chest, is a symbol that is six pieces. That has one that they each have one piece of. Yeah, I get that is good. Real, real quick, couple of things. Uh, some people in the chat have jumped in kind of late, and they want to know what we're doing. Uh, Ryan and Donnie are developing a hypothetical series slash universe called Bad Kids, where some superhero action lands in a detention with some of the bad kids, and they develop superpowers. We got a principal villain here that we're developing. Also, Ryan, are is this uh, drawing going up for sale after this? <laughs> Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> I mean, these are going to be, these are such loose. I mean, I'm flying by the seat of my pants here trying to keep up with all the ideas. And, 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 and all the proceeds to those sales will be going to, to the, to the, to the Stegman show um, so that we can uh, pay our boys and uh, somehow uh, 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 start trying to build uh, a way in which we can uh, maybe, maybe make this one day uh, into the books, right, Ryan? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah. So you're potentially buying first appearances of things that will happen. We'll get we'll get get to that shit later. But yeah. So for those of us just joining us, um, uh, you covered it pretty well. Um, basically, we have a uh, at the beginning of this of this of this of this universe. Uh, basically, what we're trying to do here is show you guys how stories get built behind the scenes. How how Ryan and I, or how any 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 two creators who make a indie book or a Marvel book, get together and start building ideas. And so, 
There's going to be spoilers everywhere. Like we're going to we're going to give away twist endings. You're you're, you're, you're going to get to see, see all of it. Uh, a step. And so what we have now is this idea that um, when this when this world begins, when this book begins, um, there's a superhero universe. Um, uh, uh, or rather, I should say, a superhero team that all derives their powers from this like totem, this item. Um, you know, their version of a Green Lantern ring, or a, or a, or a whatever the hell it is. You know, it's this this item. You know, mm-hmm. and, and it's it's derived of six pieces, six pieces that are all fit together to form this ty- this thing. Well, a great war breaks out against their greatest enemy. Um, and it goes horrifically bad, and the and the and the totem is shattered, and our last superhero standing finds himself um, um, in in the middle of a high school, and um, we we don't know where uh, his, his his five pieces get um, uh, blasted into the detention room of the high school with a bunch of fucking shitty kids, bad kids. And we're not talking breakfast club kids. Again, these are kids <laughs> who are taught to selling meth or beating the shit out of people. Um, it's kids and, with a Z. You know, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just don't, I just don't, I don't want people to get, you know, and there might be one kid in there who was just like, you know, helping some kid cheating their homework and was actually not bad. But for the most, but for the most part, you're gonna see these kids, you know, develop as 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 their powers develop, develop and um, and evolve, and that's kind of the basic. But what we're doing today is a big mystery of what that book is gonna be about. Is where 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 did that six piece that that evil piece, the piece that the you know our our Thanos, our dark side piece. Where did that go? And the reveal later on in the series will be that it is the principal. And so that's where we're at now. Let me ask a question. Uh, uh, so I've got a drawing. Are, I've got a drawing going yep. here. Do we want him like this, or do we want him more like dark side with the 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 propped up, you know, always sort of regal looking uh, uh, stance? No, I, no, I think we've done enough. I think, yeah, I do. I think Thanos and Darkseid are both so regal and big mm-hmm. that I think he should be more. He should be smart. He should be very smart and calculating. I think, but he should be, you know, a a fucking monster. You know. Well, what like do you a, think of the direction I've uh, got going here? I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, I want. Um, I was thinking of um, some sort of em- emblematic, like um, if we're talking about silhouettes, mm-hmm. some sort of like a like a ram, like 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 giant black ram horn. That's what I was. Or that's something what I was like doing could earlier. Be, yeah. Could be cool. We got a we, got, I, we got a question from Isaac that asked: Does the original superhero that crashes into everything and causes all this is that original superhero dead, or does he move past that in the story? I think he's gone. I think he's gone. I think our kids are. I think our kids are up to up 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 up, up to themselves to figure out what the fuck is going on. I think you know? he says to them. He says to them, "You you guys are in charge now." And he says, "You have to get rid of my body because nobody uh, can know that you yeah. guys are the ones that have the powers." I, 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 That's I, sick. I, I, I love that. I I legitimately I le- I legitimately want to if I, if I was writing this and if we're doing it as a creator own book. It would be gory and bloody, and these yeah. bad kids yeah. would say like, "Say like, what the fuck is going on <laughs> here right now?" Like they would, they wouldn't be like again like CW bad kids where they're like, "Well, someone tell me what the heck is going on around here," mm-hmm. you know? Like, yeah. like the, the, I would first, the first couple of issues like, are like that, that, like that second episode of Breaking Bad of them having to get rid of a body, but with superpowers. Yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah. and they can't get rid of his yeah, body; yeah, he's yeah, like it, made it, of steel, it, right? It's like right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they like they gotta figure out a way. They bury him in the fucking fifty yard line of the football field or some shit. And then, they, but then they start winning games like crazy. Yeah. Because the field is like you know, it, like like you know, it's magic now. Or there's like <laughs> there's like some sort of weird mist that comes up out of the field where the, uh, yeah, the body yeah, is. Yeah. 
Awesome. Real, real <laughs> yeah, quick, yeah. real quick. Uh, Dakota in the chat says, I want to make it very clear that Donnie is looking way slimmer and more muscular than Ryan. Whoa. <laughs> Big call. Big call. Oh, oh shit. I don't, I don't want. Oh, I don't, shit. I don't, uh, maybe. I, probably not muscular. I'm focusing right now very much on um, my first step was cutting sugar. Um, and so sugar is out of the diet completely. And then. Tell them, uh, tell them who I your guess. diet guru is, Donnie. Tell them. It's you. It's you. It's you. Yeah. Uh, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> I am, no, 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 I'm serious. I was starting to get concerned with my weight. Um, you know, when you're a newlywed and you're running around and you're getting comfortable, you know, you start to put on a few pounds. And, um, you know, I normally sit uh, comfortably at around anywhere between like 188 to 190. And I had ballooned up to like 210, you know, and I was just fucking sick of it. And I, I, I knew Ryan was losing weight. And so I was just like, hey, man, how are you doing that? And so um, Ryan was the one who suggested uh, I, I got a bike, a stationary bike. Um, and so I've been doing a couple of rides on that. I've been cutting out carbs. Happy to report uh, I'm about 15, uh, f- 15 pounds or so down. Um, I still have a little, a, little, a little bit of ways to go. Um, I still have about 10 pounds or so uh, that I want to cut. But... Uh, I think I think that with the no carbs and the bikes and shit, hopefully I can get down there um, in the next couple of couple months. So uh, I appreciate you guys saying that. Well, hey, uh, from me, Ethan, and everybody in this chat, I'm sure you Venom boys are looking fantastic. And oh, yeah. Proud. Also, Ryan, this monster that you're drawing, I love the idea of this guy, this thing being like really calculating mm-hmm. like that's like really scary yeah. like like him mm-hmm. being him being like more of a lucid like ultimate green goblin kind of yeah 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 yeah, yeah. no i'm loving i'm loving what you're putting down too i think that what, what i would what i would what i would want you to add here is on his chest mm-hmm. or on his shoulder because well maybe on his shoulder or on his back like, like that shoulder that you have that prominently out towards us mm-hmm. right put um Put a put a giant piece of tech of technology there, that is where the the fractured pieces were go, because okay. if he's gonna be hunched over, because if he's gonna be hunched over like that, then we're not gonna be able to see it on his chest, you know. Yeah. So I'm I'm wondering, are the other heroes are they we're all gonna have the little pieces of shrapnel in them? I assume, and yeah, is that yeah, going to be? Is that going to be a uniform sort of thing across all of them, or will it be kind of different on each character? Well, it's embedded. It, 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 it's embedded in them, right? Mm-hmm. But it, so it, it'll be, you know, if we put it on his shoulder, we'll we'll put it on an, on everyone else's shoulder. That's yes. an easy place to cover if, you, if you're going to high school every day too, right? Yeah, cool. Um, Dig it. Um, um, it. But it will be a unified um, uh, uh, oh. symbol. All of nice. them, you know. Um, Love and I'm thinking, and I'm thinking also just to give him a little bit more of a sophistication. I like his hands being exposed, but maybe let's give him um, some some big some big rowdy boots. I you know, just some big, that. Big, some, okay, but but I love I love him so far. You know, I love I love this so far. I was thinking, like this is almost like that spawn boot, but I need to figure out my own way of doing the spawn boot, essentially. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and hey, and hey, and hey. Uh, as as it's been said a million times, and this and this would fit perfectly with his chains. With his, uh, <laughs> chains, baby. Kids love chains. I'm just saying, put some chains hanging from them waist, man. I I kind um, of think the chains uh-huh. like actually really work thematically too. You know, the sort of yeah, totally. Tension if, he's, if he's also from this hell, if he's also from from this hell thing. It's a good way for him to like. Cha- he, he, he can throw these chains and then do his big void mouth thing at them. Maybe yeah, like, right. At them in the chains, you know. Right. What I'm saying? Mouth can get huge. If, if, if everybody, in, everybody in the chat could confirm that kids do love chains, that would be good. <laughs> can we get a chain yeah, in the chat, yeah. please? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I know. I think, I think, I think, I think this is nailing it. I love this idea. Yeah. So, um, um, as far as ideas for this character's name. Um, I, um, I, uh, I, what, what, what does anybody think about the name Dreadnought? 
That's a good dread. name. I like it. I like especially that use of the word dread, I think is perfect. Yeah, if, if, if anybody else in, that, in the comments has uh, uh, cool names, please tell me, but understand it's that, ours. Uh, um, that it's ours. So, you know, think about that be, be, before you do that, you know? Does the name uh, Dreadnought come from anywhere specific, or is that just, does it just sound cool? I, it's, a, it's a name I've always wanted to use in cool. anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's a name that I've always wanted to put in something and name something, you know. Um, and, you know, I'm sure maybe there, there there's a Marvel character uh, or a DC character named that. We would have, we would have to maybe alter the, the spelling of it somehow or, or something right. like that. But I think, I, th I, think I, th I think he certainly looks like a Dreadnought. Mm -hmm. The chat is letting us know that everybody fucking loves chains. We have so many chains in the chat, so we're definitely going with chains. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So make sure you have chains flying off of his. I think, I think, I think his hip area, right? Yeah. So like right here. This is so fucking cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. It's a great looking character. It's a great looking character. Absolutely. So, do you? I don't know if this would maybe be getting just further down the story where you don't want to talk about it at this point or if it would be linked to his powers maybe uh, what do you guys think about maybe something along the lines of um, like hall monitors as sort of like his lackeys whether he can sort of spawn <laughs> them himself or if they're from the hellscape that he is from he can manipulate them mentally yeah 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 oh we lost or, them like, or like or like specifically like a like a teacher's pet well, kind of character, like somebody that seeks his well, like approval. Here's the thing. I mean, yeah. Well, well, well. Here's the thing, though, is that everything the principal learns, the monster dreadnought will learn as well, right? right and so right. I think a great a, a great way of doing that is as soon as the principal gets it in it and we see how that process works, the principal brings in all of his hall monitors and says hey i need you guys to start reporting back to me on a daily basis and 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 tell me if there's any unusual activity just you know keep an eye out and look and they're like but principal we need to name him what's his name um um, um i like um you kept gosh. saying ed norton i like the idea Hold of on. principal ed ed is hey, just such can a you guys hear me nice yes name yeah we can hear you you, yeah, something you just hear me? soft yes. and unthreatening, like Ed. <laughs> Ed. Yes. Okay. So I like I I I I like I I tend to I tend to go with like a, um, with the idea of uh, a very simple name, you know, mm -hmm. Parker, that kind of thing, you know. Um, um, Dondelinger. That's from The Simpsons. Never mind. <laughs> Can you guys hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. So just going from the going we I think we all really like I think we all really like um um what's the actor uh, last name Martin? Martin Freeman? Yeah. Yeah. Like I I think a last name of Martin, Principal Martin, you know? There you go. I like that. Yep. Um, I'm loving the design here. Do we, right? do we want to do it? He should have a tail, right? Absolutely. I wasn't expecting a tail, but yeah. But that's that's why I like it, because I wasn't yeah. expecting it. I was not expecting a tail either, and I'm, I'm, I'm half in, half in on it. Mm. Uh, let, me, let me say something to the chat here. Look how hard we're working. If you don't give us a thumbs up right now... <laughs> Please remember to uh, smash that subscribe button. Give us a like. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for all of our latest videos. <laughs> Tell your Leave friends. <laughs> this is their actual back. job, and they're just doing it on YouTube for you. Like, yeah, come on. Now. <laughs> um. So I think something. I I I I, I do think so, so, so. Something very simple like that. You know, like 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 a like. You know, we don't even have to have a first name. I mean, hit a. John Martin, you know, Principal Martin, mm -hmm. sounds just mm -hmm. fine by me, you know? Yeah. Something that sounds trustworthy, he's a, you know, you know, you know.
Absolutely. Is he breaking up for you guys? Yeah. Fertilizer. This is good podcast content, me singing. <laughs> we need more of it. Stegman Sings is actually our spin-off show. We'll be starting next month. Everybody stay tuned. <laughs> oh no, somebody gave us a thumbs down. Oh no, no. <laughs> After all I do for you guys. That's ridiculous. It was because I you feel were singing, like re- right? revealing revealing that you sing on top of being a famous comic book artist and being ripped is like a little too much. Like you're yeah, just that, flexing on. That's probably what got the, the the thumbs down. Yeah, I know. They were like, "Fuck this guy! I can't do any of that." <laughs> and I'm not Daddy AF. Oh come on! You got to be Daddy AF if you want to be on the Stegman show. Yeah, no, we're all Daddy AF, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Donnie, you there? We can't hear you. I can't hear you. Can't hear you, Donnie. I'll text him. Ah, there was too much Daddy AF. We had to get rid of one of them. Oh, <laughs> so, so the bandwidth couldn't handle it. We just, we just blew up one of Skype's servers. <laughs> Can we get an S in the chat for Donnie's... For Donnie's connection, please. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Dakota Crow says, this is proof that Ryan is done drawing Venom. Ryan, are you ever coming back to Venom? <laughs> Ryan, what? Uh, nothing, nothing was said earlier in this that gave anything away <laughs> at all. <laughs> I think everybody's moved on past that. Mm-hmm. I am coming back to Venom. Of course I am. Hey, Frank Lanza says, love the glasses. He loves your glasses. I love Frank. Frank's a, Frank's a buddy of mine. Hell yeah. I get, I get Christmas yeah. cards from Frank. Oh, Hi, hell right? yeah. Yes, you're there. I can hear you. Yeah, you're back. Okay, cool, cool. What did yeah. I miss? What did I miss? I'm sorry. Um, we are just talking about Ryan being Daddy AF. Let's keep talking about the comic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all right, cool. It's just my every time, every single goddamn time I get like an email or a text or anything, right. it, like it fucks up and it like it it just like derails everything. So sorry. We're having it scheduled for too long, Donnie. And it was time for something uh, to go bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, I'm the only person in the world that anything bad is happening to. So. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start inking this, and in. whatever comes out, comes out, guys. Oh, yeah. Shit. I'll start with some chains. Love some chains. Can't get any more ink out of this thing. My jet pen won't goal, come. Was our goal for this episode just to develop the principle? Yes, I believe so. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, let's. Why can I not so... hear you? Oh, you're back! You're back! You're back! <laughs> Stay All right. fucking it's funny because right at the end of the last stream as well, we tapered off into not working anymore. It happens. <laughs> it, it, it knows. Yeah. It knows when we're trying to wrap up the show. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! I just took. I just took the audio from the video last week and just posted it just flat out. And we're definitely gonna have to edit this one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, everybody's doing a, po- a video podcast on YouTube during the quarantine, and like most of them are not rich comic book creators, so I don't know how they do it. Yeah, that's a good question. This is the best. This is the best we yeah, that that can be done. <laughs> I got this stupid ass two monitor set up right here. It's, Goodbye, Donnie. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, he's gone. Somebody asked how, uh, Dakota asked, "How the fuck does Alaska have better Wi-Fi than Texas?" Listen, man, that's a great question. Uh, and again, I'm not, I'm not Texas. A, that's true. Um, I'll say this: usually, a, Ethan's is, you, Ethan's connection is dog shit, so we're getting lucky. <laughs> no, I think lately I've been I've been pretty good, pretty consistent. Oh. Yep, you're there. Can you see me? Yes. yes. Yeah. You can see me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I can't hear you. Oh, oh no. That's cool. <laughs> I love that it's a different problem every time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. If I just do this, if I just take my fucking headphones off, is that fine? So far. 
Yeah. yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be so, fine. And the headphones are the thing that's fucking everything up. So I'm just going to talk into the mic. Okay. Cool. All right. There might be weird audio things on the other side, but for the live thing, I'm 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 tired of fucking dealing with it. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, so I think we've got this guy pretty much figured out, right? Mm -hmm. Would you say so? Certainly, look wise, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, I think it looks fucking great. Uh, let me, let me, let me look at your live stream really quick. Um, as I have, Rob Rush suggested. Rob Rush suggested an axe made of chains. <laughs> oh, an axe, an axe carrying an axe on his back is not a bad idea. It's um, actually, yeah. No, 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 no. Hold on. What? Principals used to use paddles. Yeah. Like a paddle, some sort of like a giant like board that had chain spikes. I dig it. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. Donnie, your audio is way clearer now, by the way. You sound a lot better. Great, great, great. Good. That's going to the problem the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, but no, uh, Ryan, this is, look, this is looking flawless. Uh, and for everyone who I'm assuming, I can't see comments or anything, but for everyone who's, I, who I'm assuming is saying, Jesus Christ, Donnie, figure it out, um, <laughs> I will remind you that this, this while this whole part where I'm like creating characters and stuff is, is my job, um, this other part that we're doing uh, is not my job. <laughs> it shouldn't be anybody's job. It's a nightmare. I, 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 I'm yeah. doing my level best. I promise you. I don't know how else. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm new at this. I, I have a, I have a whole other fucking day job that I do where, uh, it doesn't involve this. So I'm learning. So if I'm, if it's annoying, I, I, I apologize. I think once all of the cha the necessary charity stuff that's going on right now dies down, we can get a Patreon going so that the four of us can move in together and use the same studio. Perfect. Um, I'm done. Uh, I no no. Venom boys? No. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Well, well, make make can come too. Of course, she's welcome. And the boys and Aaron, they can come. Okay. It'll be like you have, it'll be like you have two grown kids all of a sudden. It feels, it feels honestly. Really bad that you uh, invited my my wife. <laughs> like the idea of subjecting her to being around you guys uh, feels so much worse to me than. Ryan, right. we got a question in the chat. Why is he wearing one boot? Did he lose one, perhaps? No, just because the lopsided design, uh, yeah, what do you call it? Um, asymmetrical design is just always awesome. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, cool. Agreed. So for, people, so for people who don't know kind of shit like this and how that works, there's a big, and, and, and if you want to get a master class in learning about that kind of stuff, um, um, look at anything that um, that um, that Todd McFarlane does. Uh, um, there's a difference between um, um, what, what, what am I trying to, trying to say? Uh, balance uh, or, or, or symmetry in balance. Mm -hmm. Like you don't you don't want symmetry. You don't want everything to line up perfectly. Right. right? I, why so many of your favorite characters have like. You know, even Batman, who is pretty symmetrical, will still have a utility belt that'll be heavier on one side, or the cape will be swept to one side. Mm -hmm. you know? um, Spider-Man's probably a pretty rare example, honestly, a pretty symmetrical design. Um, uh, but there's a difference between, yeah, again, balance and symmetry. So what what Ryan's doing is, I'm, I'm, I'm talking for you, so please tell me to shut up or if I'm getting this wrong, buddy. Um, is you want you want um, you want to fucking look rad above everything else, um, but in so doing so you have to kind of you, you you do have to kind of you know take things like that into account. Okay, totally. I'm leaving a spot for the for the symbol here, but I'm not going to design the symbol right now because that just takes too much brain power to. Mm -hmm. solve. Yeah, sure. Next episode, we'll develop the logo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. that would be fun. 
<laughs> um, people here in the chat, go ahead and ask more questions. We got to we got to fill out the time while I finish up this drawing. So whatever you guys want to know. Hey, um, it's Q and A time. Uh, but there is like a minute delay on the chat to this, so we'll have to wait a minute for those questions to pour in. Okay. All right. Uh, now we'll just know. Ethan will just sit here quiet. quiet. Well, Jason pointed out that you and I have just been sitting here nodding our heads saying, yeah, like our teacher is telling us something important that, they, that we need to write down. Jason um, hasn't seen the video for the 40 other episodes we've done where we do the exact same thing. Well, we are <laughs> being taught. This is our education. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, well, no, what, what, what I like about this, guys, is, is, that, is that this is something that you rarely see. You know, because, I mean, again... Again, you know, you're going to be spoiled on some stuff. Like, you're going to be spoiled on reveals, and you're going to be spoiled on... Sorry, my fucking back is just killing me, so I'm, I'm getting down here a little bit. Um, you're going to be spoiled on some reveals. Like, the principal reveal we probably wouldn't have done until, like, issue six or whatever the fuck. But now, you know, we'll figure out what it looks like, you know, going forward. Um, if this even does become um, a thing. You know, hopefully the idea is... Is that this is this is something that um, moving forward we can we can um, actually make into something, yeah. you know whether whether it is actually called Bad Kids or whatever, and you know maybe it's a it's a it's the beginning of a new line of comics that you know is started and you know who knows where it goes you know but 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 the idea of it is is I thought it'd be really fun because. I remember when even when I was in I was an intern at Marvel, one of the things that just fascinated me endlessly was like, what the fuck do those writers do in that room? Like, what are they doing in there? How do they break story? Is it you know do they come in there? And I remember Ryan like you know when you when you came in and you and you get, and you came into the room, seeing how you know how much you learned about like uh, how that creative process went, and mm -hmm. we thought like we thought instead of coming here and being like. Hey, here's this new idea that we're thinking about doing, or whatever the hell, you know. Let's just show everybody. Let's just show everything, because you know, it, it's it's an idea that I've actually had uh, for a while. Where where in the back of in the back of trades, you would um, you would you would show um, you would show the audience um, in the back matter. Um, uh, you would print all of the emails that went along with like you know that like all, like all the back and forth mm -hmm. you know and like showing like actually like how it was made well we're we're doing that you know um but 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 we're gonna do it right here in front of you that's that is yeah. exactly what i wanted because i um i again i was kind of blown away by how it all worked when i got into the room so i just thought it would be a fun way to show how you know the, the how an idea can come together, and I think that it is kind of interesting, just thinking about how much we accomplished in this short amount of time because we had to, because we've been put in this position. Right. Where we have right. to solve this right now as we're going. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, totally. and it's more or less the sort of mission statement I think of the podcast really was to give folks an insider's view on the industry yeah, and of it, the jump. Exactly, and and that started out as 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 giving like inside views on like, you know, doing uh, like on shit that we've already done, you know, giving. Um, I mean, people people really tended to enjoy those things. Um, our our whatever you want to call them, our our d directors' commentaries, you yeah. know, that we did. Um, but now we're getting to a place with those directors' commentaries where we're honestly we're like we're running out of room because the shit that we're working on now is so, so unbelievably secret and big. And, um, and so, um, if you guys want to see more of those, like, um, you know, uh, we could absolutely do more of those, but we, we just kind of think that like, you know, in the absence of people being able to buy comics right now, why don't we tune in, you know, what are we, are we doing this a certain day every week? I think we're, we're gonna have to solve that, but you know, I, I'd like to do it at the same time every yeah, we'll week. That and, we'll, and, we'll, and, we'll, and we'll announce it, you know. Um, yeah. But and definitely, just stay tuned to all our social medias at Stegman Show for the podcast, at Ryan Stegman, and at Don Cates. Stay tuned to those guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show, 
and your supple boys here at Griff Sheridan and at Tales to Astonish, and you won't miss a beat. Yeah, and we'll and we'll and we'll figure out um, those days. And um, you know, in, in the meantime, um, subscribe to the show and leave comments on these episodes um, of what you think is cool and what you think is rad. Um, understand that it's going to be really tough for us to incorporate story ideas um, because, again, this is like wholly licensed by us. But you know, if you if you throw in something that that's really fucking badass, then you know maybe we can come to some agreement where you know if it if it ends up in the final product, you know maybe there's a a version of this where you get a special thanks or you or you Ryan will draw you into a scene crowd or something like that, and we'll and we'll and we'll call it even Stevens on on something like that, you know. Oh, yeah. Um. So feel free to add in and chime in because I mean again this is. Um, kind of always been what what Stegman and his amazing friends has been is a uh, a community of people and 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 getting you guys along to kind of see uh, b- behind the camera, you know. People so, are loving it. Jeff Gonzalez says I've really enjoyed watching you guys doing this. Thanks for that in all caps. So he means it. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you, buddy. I'm trying to find a position on my camera where I'm not half my face on the live stream and cut off. So I don't know how to do that yeah. i don't know if you guys have wrapped up all the developing uh, i know D- orion is still inking but I, I saw somebody early on that was disappointed that there's been no pop culture news so yeah oh, what, well, what do you got for us what do you got for us i mean uh, well yeah i've got a theme first oh yeah ah, fuck. <laughs> hold on <laughs> did you not ever find it no, no, actually, we, not especially not that version. That version is not. Yeah, we found other versions. I told you, I told you guys, it's so <laughs> hard to fucking find. Like it's a, it's an album that like I, I um, all right, give me one second. Uh, if we're gonna I, do this, I think you playing it through the mic is kind of iconic. So it's better off that we don't find it. Okay. But we could edit it in. Ethan. All right, we, we could ready? edit it in, but we won't edit it. In. <laughs> all right, who's ready for some? Wait. Oh, shit. Pop culture news. Go fuck oh, yourself. Oh, right. <laughs> the official tagline of pop culture news. I, I needed to add. Because, <laughs> because, you know why I maybe added that last part? It's because most pop culture news right now fucking sucks. I know, I know. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> people in the past episode didn't get to see us doing a little dance to the pop culture news theme, but now, now you get that. That's the kind of uh, that's the reason we do the stream. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. Okay, I'll, I'll, can I can I start us off with some pop culture oh, news? Of course, of course. Um, in in uh, in state of affairs things, um, obviously, you know, I I am not a a representative of the Disney Corporation or anything. But I can I can tell you that like um, um, uh, I know there's been some recent news about books being on pause or this and this and this and this this and that and and people are kind of freaking out. Well, I just wanted to let you guys know that I I am not a uh, you know again I'm not like privy to the big the the, the big boy meetings, but um, I I I do know one thing for sure and and, and that is. Is that Ryan and I's big Marvel project is not been paused. We're working on it. He turned a, pe- a page in today that it's fucking phenomenal, and I'll be shocked if they actually let us get away with the amount of gore on it. Um, That's true. And 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 that uh, both Thor and Venom and the Venom tie-ins are all good to go. We're all working, and awesome. most people. That, and that, mo- and that most people that I know um, are using this time to. It's weird. It, most of the people that I know that are like, um, uh, you know, stay at home creatives that are like quarantine writers and artists, it's weird. We're all having this kind of like fight or flight syndrome where we're all like creating new stuff like crazy. And so, like, you know, I, I, I put up that teaser of a new book that I'm doing with Dylan Burnett. Um, that's going to come out in July. Um, big uh, ass swords. Big ass swords, and uh, <laughs> and 
big ass swords that are not there for no reason. Uh, if you think I'm putting a book uh, with big ass swords in it and it doesn't have some sort of a tie into God Country, you're out of your fucking mind. So I would pay very close attention to that book. Um, I'll go ahead and say it on here. The full creative team on that book, and I won't tell you the publisher yet, but the full creative team on that book is myself, Dylan Burnett, who I did Cosmic Ghost Rider with, uh, Dean White on colors. Um, you know Dean from such thing as Remender's X-Force and Black Science and uh, Thor's uh, run with Esod and just generally one of the better colorists who's ever lived. Um, and then John J. Hill doing lettering and design from God Country. Um, I will tell you this, um, um, world pandemic or not, it is coming out in July, no matter Ooh. what. I can't tell you how that is going to happen, um, but um, the day I can, I will. But hope in the darkness, for sure. Awesome. Hell yeah. Can't wait for that. That's great. Uh, we have some confusion in the chat, particularly from Comic Quirks, as to who the the, the Supple Boys are. One uh, uh, Comic Quirks seems to think that I am Griffin, and Griffin, you are Ryan's brother. You know uh, what, and- Comic Quirks? Comic Quirks, can I can I thank you for asking this? Because I have I have so long wanted to ask this question, and, and it's <laughs> like I'm. Like, time has just gone on too long, and now I feel like an asshole for asking. And so, yeah, so, damn it. so please, please, yes, tell us. Uh, well, the Comics Works is right. I'm Griffin, and that one is Ryan's brother. <laughs> Hello. I'm Ryan Stegman. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, pop culture news. We are scraping the bottom of the barrel just a little bit uh, because nothing's happening except for terrible things. Uh, yep. But, you know, so, some some uh, bittersweet news to begin with uh, is Keanu news, which is going to become a recurring segment on this show. Uh, God. Uh, uh, Keanu <laughs> with a K. I, uh, uh, all right. <laughs> uh, Keanu news is that uh, this year uh, uh, we were supposed to, uh, or next year we were supposed to have a Keanu day uh, where Matrix 4 and John Wick 4 came out on the same day. Unfortunately, that's not happening anymore. Uh, because John Wick 4 has been pushed back because Keanu has to finish The Matrix first. So yeah. that fabled day that we were supposed to get of or, double Keanu goodness. Or has he already finished it, man? Wait. Oh. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me do a better version of it. Or <laughs> oh. has he already finished it, man? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I mean that's that's uh, that's 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 not great, but you know we'll eventually get both of those movies, uh, hey, and we'll eventually is eventually gonna hey all of it's eventually gonna happen, man. You know like you know that's the 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 thing I keep on telling you, man. Like every single fucking comic book artist I know is not, I mean is uh is working their ass off. I mean Absolutely. we're getting. We're getting we're getting ahead. Like I'm so fucking far ahead on my Marvel schedule that they're having to like get me, uh, I you know um, um, deadlines for books that won't come out until you know June, July, August. You know what I'm right. saying? Like I it's we're all working as we're all we're, we're all working real hard over here, man. You know and 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 this is this is you know uh, it, uh it's. It's just, it just is what it is, man, and it's not going to be permanent, you know. So, that's what, you know, that's that's a that that's a positive pop culture culture news. I mean, comics. You know, I read an article the other day that was like, that was like, you know, uh, you know, how bad could this be for our economy? Are we looking at another um, um, uh, recession? And I looked at that and I said, well, comics survived that. You know, you know, uh, you know, uh, comics, comics survive two world wars, you know, yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, comics tends to thrive, you know, and especially in times of, 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 of great, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, turmoil, people tend to look for the arts and for the escape even more. So that's what we're doing here for you. You know? Definitely. Both Keanu movies will eventually come out, and we'll eventually get Keanu himself on this podcast. Yep. Yeah. That, that is a that's a guarantee. That's a goddamn guarantee. 
<laughs> Ryan, uh, listen, uh, real quick, fuck you, Ethan. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> Lazar, yeah, right. uh, Lazar Lilac is asking if we have any Ryan family adventures stories for this. Oh thing. yeah, of course. That's any gotta take segment story time. Did I already? This is one. This is just a ridiculous thing that happened. Um, okay. The other day, I was lifting weights. You know, because of these. Because you're getting trended. And, uh... Because <laughs> you're daddy AF, yes. I was walking away from it doing a set of squats, and I kicked a weight on accident, and I'm fairly certain my toe is shattered. Um, <laughs> oh, no. So then, I continued to work out, because I was like... Because grind uh, never stops. Yeah, toes, who, yeah. who gives a shit? And, uh-huh. um... Mm-hmm. You need some. I then lost i was in pain while i was working out so then i lost all form control of form and uh i hurt my back terribly Uh, Um, and so i have a broken toe and a wrenched back and i've been limping around my house like a baby for the last two days Uh, all of those all those muscles are useless if you're mangled right i know this is really that's the that's the point that's the thing i'm learning but uh, well, that's also that's also something that I was like I was and, and and I'm not I'm not I'm not as mangled as as Ryan was, um or is but like I started like you know starting to try and get in shape and shit and like you know looking good and trying to look good and all this kind of shit and then and then it, the the thought occurred to me I was like I was like, but for who? Yeah. Like. <laughs> I, I, like, I guess, I guess for Megan, like, I guess she would appreciate it, but like, fans now. Uh, it, it'd be nice if like, you know, fans could see me and be like, God damn, dude, you look good. I guess we all, <laughs> the, only, the only reason I'm doing it, I don't really care about my health. I just, I just, I just, I, I just want, I just want people to see me and, and, and say, uh, uh, that dude's lost weight. Uh, um, but so good job um, uh, on doing that. This drawing is looking phenomenal. I think I think oh, yeah. this is our guy, and I, and I think especially when you start adding um, like uh, uh, coloring and stuff, and you and you and you have that like that like techno kind of vibe on his <laughs> on his on his on his arm there. Yeah, the, the, I think the, that's perfect. The, the extras, the ancillary stuff, definitely needs to be fleshed out. But for a first for a first go, I think that that kind of sums up our character. Those that are listening to the podcast, this will in the show notes. There will be a link to where you can see the the art that I did for this. Ryan Dylan says, uh, with all of your your mangled body problems, you're gonna have to eat cereal like a dog again. I know. <laughs> Thought he wasn't here for that story. That was a great one. Uh, no, he listens to the show. He heard it. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah, I definitely. Yeah, definitely. I, I told uh, I told Donnie that I was doing a water fast, and he asked me because he was trying. He's trying to lose weight. And he asked me how it went, and I was like, "Well, <laughs> don't do it." Yeah, and then he told me all the things about the water fast, and I was like, "Fuck that! I'm not doing it." Shit. It almost it almost killed him. <laughs> almost. I'm going. I'm going like I'm. My carb thing is going phenomenally, and the carb thing I'm losing weight by the day, and so that's. That's good enough for me. That and the bike, that's fine for me. You know, it it, it help keeps the old the old mind right too. Because mm-hmm. I just I get on that bike and I put on Lamb of God and just fucking. It was funny though. Today there was a I was on the bike and um, I I have a I have a I have an office uh, slash stu- uh, it's a garage that I converted into an office studio. Um, uh, it, it used to be a double garage, and then I had a wall built in. It's like soundproofed, and I have my drum set and everything in there and everything. Um, I don't know how soundproofed it is because I've never been on the outside of it, right? But I'm, but I, but I normally when I'm trying to get through some of the harder Peloton classes, I scream the lyrics of Lamb of God songs, and like <laughs> today there was like. Uh, um, there was one that was like, um, I found myself screaming the, the word hopeless over and over oh, and over again, followed by mass solitude, mass suicide. And I was oh. like, my 
neighbors must think like like I am moments away <laughs> from <laughs> from <laughs> cool event. Yeah. But it's just a good fucking song, dude. It's just like it just gets me going. But I realized afterwards, I was like, I should maybe pick a less a less on the nose track to 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 get my shit going. <laughs> There's some beautiful birds on your end, Donnie, and I'm really, I think. Yeah, there's actually a really nice vibe peace, coming off. Peaceful yeah. vibe. Yeah. Hey, yeah. as for family stories, can I tell one other one? I don't, did I already tell the story oh. about my mom on here, what she said about when she had to fill out stuff for work? I don't know. So. My mom, so, you know, everybody's parents are technological fools, right? Um, yeah, right. And my mom called me, and she's a she's a um, counselor, a, yeah, like a psychologist, whatever. And um, she said that she was like, I hate it. They're making me do it online, and I have to fill out forms online, um, and I don't know how to do it. And I said, Well, um, have you just tried to fill it out on your computer? Because usually you can do like a digital signature. And she said. Um, no, I'm trying to print it out right now. And I said, well, don't try to print it out. Why don't you click the file and open it and see if you can just fill it out. And she said, uh, she kept saying, I, I can't do that. And finally I said, mom, just open the file and, and fill it out and that'll be all you have to do. And she said, I can't, I don't have a typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> That's 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 the craziest. Oh my god! That's, that's <laughs> awesome. I've ever heard in my life. I was like, "What uh, the hell do you think this is? What do you think a computer is?" <laughs> here, here, here's a fun thing, a fun thing to not worry about right now. Um, but um, just as you guys were saying that there's a nice bird chirping kind of atmosphere here. Um, Audacity did just tell me that it fatally quit and lost all, my entire audio file. Hey man, um, that's okay. Yeah. So, uh, I'm not going to have an Audacity file, so when you guys hear this on the podcast, I don't know what that's going to sound like, because uh, <laughs> I will have my for half of it, I'll have my Bluetooth on, where you'll, where you'll only hear me, but then it'll be all of us. And so... Well, one of us will go back and re-record your dialogue. <laughs> I, we'll I have, it. Yeah. So I just wanted to say that right now. Um, it, for the live people on the live stream, I hope you're enjoying the nice birds chirping. People who are listening <laughs> to this on the podcast, if if I've just turned into a robot speaking, uh, <laughs> that is why. Uh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't know why. I... I, I uh, Audacity does this shit sometimes. You guys know it's it. It's the industry standard for podcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, and it works flawlessly every, every time. Every time. 60% <laughs> of the time, it works every time. Yeah. So, hey, where, where are we at on time? Yeah, we're done. We, we're finished. We're done. Yeah, let's try. Let's fail. So, 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 hey, uh, you need to add one more thing to these drawings. Okay. Ryan. Mm -hmm. You need to add the name Dreadnought on the bottom of this guy. And then put a little TM next to it. Uh, for And then, you know, make up a, uh, you know, Stegman show. You know, STP. Stegman, wait, S, Stegman show SSP. You know, just to make sure that that's ours. That's, that's, that's for this show. Sign that. We'll auction that off uh, yeah. to get these guys paid for what they're doing. Um, and then uh, go ahead and do that on camera with the drawing of the of the principal. Mm -hmm. Area roll. Uh, huh? It's gonna take a second. <laughs> yeah, it's done. He just it's the the stream's behind. Um. Somebody just asked where we can buy bid on this masterpiece. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you for acknowledging that it is in fact a masterpiece. Uh, second of all, I'll, we'll probably just do what we did last time. Put it in. We'll put it on uh, Twitter, and you can bid on it in the comments. Yeah, exactly. We'll 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 put like a you know highest bidder within forty eight hours, and then we'll we'll send you a link to a PayPal. Somebody's. You know? uh, Dan's telling us that uh, Dreadnought is already a character, though. Uh, 
Yeah, we figured. We'll we'll have to come up with a different name, but for now, well, somebody was point, somebody well somebody was pointing out that it's just a robotic villain from Iron Man, which I don't know if that's like how, how is it? Wait, wait, how is it spelled? It's a good question. Well, I spelled it right. So we can spell it dread D R E D N O T. Or we could spell it or his name could be or his name could be Dread Knight. We'll figure it out. We don't have to figure it out right now. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll we'll figure it out. Yeah. But Absolutely. but but um yeah, we'll 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 figure that out. Mm-hmm. Well, know. sweet. I, I well, like that. If sentence. you're ready, then I can. Yeah, go ahead. I can close us out of the show here, if you'd like. Mm-hmm. Please get me out of here. God, get us, get us out. <laughs> How do we end hey, this everybody. thing? <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us for uh, another live show. Again, if you want to, if you want to relive all of the magical moments from tonight's show, uh, the edited audio version will be on our podcast feed. Uh, this Sunday, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, if you want to stay in touch with the show, of course, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Stegman Show. Stay tuned. That's where we'll announce uh, the next couple of streams where we're fleshing out the other characters of this series. It's going to be super exciting. Uh, yep. That's where you can also uh, check out uh, bidding on these masterpieces. That'll be on Ryan's Twitter. He's at yep. Ryan Stegman. And of course, yep. you can follow Donny Cates at Don Cates. Well, um, what was the... I'm Griffin. Oh, go ahead. No, no, Ryan, please. Real quick, what was the principal's name again? Martin. Principal Martin. Yes, Martin. Principal Martin. Principal... Yep. Um, I'm Griffin. I'm at Griff Sheridan. That's Ethan. He's at Tales to Astonish. We're the Supple Boys. Um, and uh, what else? You can find the show on uh, Apple and Google Podcasts and Spotify. You can leave and, a review and, on Apple and Podcasts. Fucking... And smash that subscribe button, baby. Smash that subscribe <laughs> smash button. So fucking hard, dude. I'll tell, like. tell you what. I'll tell you what. If yes. you if yeah. you if you smash that sub, sub subscribe button and send me a screen cap on Twitter that you so that you smash that so subscribe button, I will uh, like that tweet. Oh. Oh, you know what? I'll like it too. We're gonna. Maybe, we're gonna maybe, auction, we're gonna auction maybe, off a donkey like. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll even like give you a little emoji action, a little kissy oh. kiss. <laughs> also, we're gonna be That'll... selling these two pieces together. They'll they'll be sold as one, just because. Yeah, be sold. Yeah, that uh that like from Donnie will still be more acknowledgement than I ever get from him. So, <laughs> um, I hope you like it. Um, you can email the show at segmentandfriends at gmail dot com. We'll do a mailbag at some point in the future. Um, and you can find all of the episodes at Stegman and Friends. You guys, really quick, if you're, god damn it, we're at 68 people watching now. Can we not just leave on on 69 people? Can <laughs> someone please watch? Just, just, just someone out there tag. Hey, I, just there, we have we have 1.65 subscribers. One of you. Text one of your friends and say, "Watch right now." Can we can we, so we get can, a sixty nine um, in the chat, please? <laughs> yeah, can we get a sixty nine in the chat to end can, it? Can we get somebody to get us sixty nine <laughs> wa- viewers just just to have that dumb sophomoric joke. <laughs> we already hit it a couple of times throughout the stream, and people did not forget it. <laughs> they they text, were on top text, of it. Mom, well, get her I'm, not, I'm not leaving, goddammit, until this reads sixty nine people watching. <sighs> or we get 69 likes. 59. Wait, are all of you watching? Yes. Yes. God damn it. <laughs> Listen, look, we're, look, 69s are rolling in in the chat. I think that'll have to be good enough for this week. They want, they, um, they they want Chip suggested. to be the 69th. Yeah. <laughs> they want Chip to come in. <laughs> That's so, so upsetting. That's the most blue balls way to end a podcast I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> And it, I was so upset, so so upset uh, that we didn't get it there. Um, but all right, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. More of this. More of strong venom boys. How do I? Strong, I don't we'll know how to end the, the. I don't know how to end it. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs>